And Prime Minister Manmohan Singh is in Geneva, a stopover point for his U.S. trip. The Prime Minister arrives in the U.S. later tonight, but his four-day trip officially begins only on Tuesday. During his visit, the PM will meet U.S. President Barack Obama to discuss a wide range of issues. During the visit, India and U.S. are likely to sign an MOU on counter-terrorism cooperation. The PM and Obama will also discuss measures to curb carbon emissions and speeding up the completion of a landmark civilian nuclear deal signed last year. Foreign affairs expert Farid Zakaria lists out the challenges ahead of the Indian Prime Minister. It's a CNN IBN exclusive. What's your sense from uh, the visit? What is Prime Minister Manmohan Singh expecting to do when he's in Washington? With a new administration, you always have uh, a kind of a, a moment of uh, reorientation that's necessary. And the Bush administration, and President Bush in particular, had a kind of ideological conception of India's role in the world. And it's not entirely clear that the Obama team has the same, has quite the same ideological sense of it. I mean, I think they're very friendly and as yes, can be seen from the fact that it's the first state visit. But uh, I think it will be important that Prime Minister Manmohan Singh emphasizes and, and makes sure that they understand the stakes of getting India right. And I think it's very important that the Prime Minister try to steer clear of that and have India viewed on its own terms, in its own right. What are the key takeaways from this visit? What is he going to come home with? He's going to come home, I think, hoping to have a greater assurance about the operationalization of, of the nuclear agreement. I think that he will probably want to see fewer restrictions on the transfer of technologies uh, and, a, you know, and, a, and a more speedy uh, operation implementation of, of it. I think that's probably the single most important thing. But the other one, which is a slightly more uh, kind of atmospheric issue, is this idea of getting India out of the, the AFPAC uh, uh, region and having it stand on its own. To our other top story now, it's been 36 hours since the IBN offices were attacked by Shiv Senex, but the ringleaders are still 